Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can install the Elasticsearch and Kibana on Docker. Okay. So there is a way uh, like you can directly pull the Docker image of the Elasticsearch and Kibana and then make them up and running and then you can access it locally. Another way is to uh, create a Docker Compose file and then make that Docker Compose file up and then it will automatically pull the docker image for you for elastic search and kibana and then you can use them locally so we are going to follow the second approach so uh, let me try to show you for the first approach so you can directly go to the browser and ask for the elastic search or the kibana image docker image so you can see elastic search docker image Okay, you can come here and this is the Elasticsearch page. You can see uh, this is the latest image of the Elasticsearch. You can directly run this command in the Docker, Docker pull, and then this is the Elasticsearch image. It will pull the Elasticsearch image for you in your Docker, and then uh, you can directly, okay, so this is, uh, yeah, and you can directly run this image elastic search image on the port number 9200 and it it will be up and then you can locally access it similarly you can do this same thing for the kibana as well but i am not going to follow this approach i am going to uh, create a docker compose file which i already have created for you and there i have specified the docker image of the elastic search and the kibana and the memory that it is going to use and the environment type so everything i have uh, defined there so let me try to go to the file so you can see uh, we have provided the services and in the services we have these two services one is the elastic search and second is kibana okay so in the elastic search you have to provide the image and the port number so i have provided the elastic search image uh, and the version of that image is not the latest one it is 7.17.9 this is the stable version for me so that is why i'm using it Similarly for the Kibana you have to provide the image and the port number you can see here and in the memory I have provided the unlimited memory for it. Okay, so once this port or once this uh, Docker container is up then it can acquire the unlimited memory and in the environment type I have provided the single node. Okay, so this is about the Docker Compose file. So now how we can make the Docker Compose file up. So let me try to save this Docker Compose file. Uh, to some location and from there we can make this docker compose file up okay so just let me try to save it so if we'll go to the file let me try to save this and make sure this name is docker com hyphen compose and the type should be yaml okay so make sure you select this yaml type okay now i'm just going to save this docker compose file on the desktop okay so just save it here so we have saved this docker compose file on our desktop now let me try to go there and if we'll go down if we'll go up you can see this docker compose file which is saved today right so our docker compose file is being saved on a folder now you have to open a terminal here okay so that you can access this file right now let me try to make our docker desktop up locally so that we can hit the docker commands on the terminals so i am using the docker desktop so i will make this docker desktop up once this is up we can hit the docker commands right so you can see uh, this is being up and from here also you can check all the images that i have I don't have the images related to the Elasticsearch and Kibana. So I will be trying to uh, pull both of them using the Docker Compose file that we have created. So here let me try to uh, uh, run a command called Docker images to show you what all the images I have. So you can see this, right? So you can see I have this list of images. I don't have the Elasticsearch and Kibana, okay? Now let me try to uh, make this docker compose file that we saved here in the docs desktop up and running so that it can automatically pull the images that we have defined there. Okay, so the command for that is docker compose up. 
okay so you can see this right once you run this command it is started pulling the kibana and the elastic search images so it will take few minutes if you are doing for the first time depending upon your internet speed and once it is uh, pulled successfully like both of the images are pulled successfully it will try to create a container and it will try to make both of the images up and running in those container so that locally we can use it so if we'll go to the docker desktop uh, here you can see uh, as of now we don't have the uh, elastic search and the kibana images once it is pulled completely then we can see this uh, images here as well and if you'll go to the container you can see i have only one container once uh, this docker compose pulled both of the images then it will try to create a container for both of the images and try to make that container up so that both of the images can uh, run inside those container okay so just wait for a few seconds i will try to show you uh, both of the things later on once it is installed or you can say pulled completely okay so you have to wait it so here you can see uh, both of the images are being pulled now if you'll go to the docker desktop inside the images you can see right here you can see we have the elastic search and kibana and you can see the version right so both of them are in use and both of them are up and running so if we'll go to the container you can see uh, this desktop container is already created and uh, this is uh, coming from where our file is saved our docker compose file is saved if we'll go inside this you can see we have the elastic search and the kibana running on the respective port numbers you can see this 9200 and 5601 so now what you can do you can go to the browser and you can uh, hit both of the endpoints here so let me try to do that so it is localhost 5601 and on on this port number the kibana is up and on the port number 9200 elastic search is up so, so let me try to do that so 9200 so you can see the elastic search is up and you can see this uh, name cloud name and these things and if you'll come to the kibana you can see this kibana is also up you can explore these things if you'll go here uh, and if you go down you can see in the uh, dev tools you can see this is this is the thing where you can run your elastic search related queries okay some of the queries is it is already given but uh, according to yours you can create your own query okay so now let me try to uh, try to uh, show you something so how you can create one index okay so let me try to show you those things so here you can see uh, using the post command uh, you can create one index okay so let's say i'm going to run a command called post where i will try to create one index and insert some data inside that index so let's say our index name is user and we are going to create one document and the document id let's say it is one okay and inside that user document we have two fields or two properties one is name and second is job description so let's say the name is rajan and the job description is full stack software developer so once you will uh, hit this endpoint it will try to create one index for you which is user and inside that index it will try to create a uh, document and inside that user index uh, once document will be created inside that document id 1 the details would be name is rajan and your description is full stack software developer so let me try to hit it you can see the index user is created document is this id is 1 and how you can access it okay so let me try to do that thing as well so here you can come and run a get and you have to provide the index and then let's say uh, let me try to hit this and then see okay so let me try to again do these things so we want to hit the document one from the user index so if you hit this you can see you can see the name and the uh, 
name is Razan and the job description is full stack software developer. So here what we did, we have successfully created one index called user and inside that index we have inserted one document and inside the document we have put some information like this is a user index and the document one contains the information about the Razan and the job description. Similarly, you can uh, fetch that uh, document from the index user. So both of the operation we have performed here. Okay. So this is how Kibana interact with the Elasticsearch. The Kibana provides the console where you can run your Elasticsearch related queries and uh, do your work. Okay. So this is about the video guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks.